Hey guys, it's Stormy Rabbits, and this video is all about GI stasis in rabbits. GI stasis stands for gastrointestinal stasis. GI stasis is a potentially deadly condition in which the digestive system slows down or stops completely. When this happens, bad bacteria then builds up in the intestines and releases gas into their system, which is very painful for a rabbit. And because they are in pain and their gut is not moving, they will not eat or drink, which just makes the situation even worse. Also, the contents in their digestive system will become even more compact and bacteria can go into their liver, which can cause the liver to ultimately fail. Now, it's not so much that their digestive system all of a sudden stops, but that it slowly stops. This can happen from not having enough fiber and too much sugar and carbohydrates. Also, stress is a big one. Sometimes when losing a bondmate or a change in environment can cause lots of stress, which may make your rabbit not want to eat. Also, any pain that your rabbit may be having from either urinary tract infections or other gas. And also dental problems is a big one. If your rabbit's teeth are too long or they're in pain from their teeth, they won't want to eat. Another one is lack of exercise. You wanna make sure that your rabbit gets plenty of exercise or else it can slow down their system some. Now GI stasis, sometimes we don't even notice that it is starting until it's too late and they're already stopped eating. So things to look for for GI stasis would be small or misformed poops, no poops at all, loss of appetite, or if they're not eating as much, you should take notice. They will also be lethargic and in a hunched position is a big one. An easy way to tell is a treat test. Get one of your rabbit's favorite treats, and if they don't eat it, it's a good chance that they probably have GI stasis. If you have the option, take your rabbit to the vet immediately. Your vet will address it and give you stuff that may be important to getting your rabbit well. Certain things that your vet would give you would be antibiotics, pain medication, syringe feeding of critical care, and things like that and they will also give you further instructions for at home. Now, as soon as you notice your rabbit not eating, there is a few things that you can do to help. If you catch it early enough, sometimes you can syringe feed 100% pineapple juice. Pineapple juice has natural enzymes that can help break up any blockage that might be in their system and help their digestive system altogether. If you catch GI stasis early enough, there's a good chance that this will help a lot. Another thing you should get or have on hand is infant gas relief drops. You can find these at many just drug stores and these would be a great thing to have on hand. Now another thing you have to do when you are at home with your rabbit is syringe feed. Now syringe feeding is very very hard with a rabbit. It requires a lot of effort. Your rabbit will kick and be all very annoying and they'll spit it out and it'll be really really hard but you have to do this a great product to have on hand is critical care it is a little bit expensive it will be very helpful if you ever have to use it now if your rabbit is in GI stasis and you do not have critical care on hand you can create somewhat of a temporary one by mixing your rabbit's pellets with warm water and pineapple juice. One very important thing to do is belly massages. These are very easy to give your rabbit. Place your rabbit on your lap and just start massaging their lower belly area and just kind of mush your fingers on its belly for about 10 minutes and do this quite a few times in a day. Now this may be a little bit painful to your rabbit, so don't do it too hard or too much, but this will help break up any gas bubbles that will be in your rabbit's system and help the blockage go through. Now after a while of whatever medication your vet gives you and pineapple juice and critical care, once your rabbit starts to eat again, it may be quite a while. It may be days, it may even be up to a week of syringe feeding. But once they do start eating, offer lots and lots of hay and fresh greens with lots of water on them. Greens are very good. And once your rabbit starts eating, do not feed any pellets to your rabbit for a while. You want your rabbit to have lots of fiber and a nice hydrating greens and not dry pellets. Now, how to prevent GI stasis. A lot of people believe that veggies cause 
GI stasis. I do not believe this. I think that veggies probably help prevent GI stasis. Now, I do not think you should overfeed veggies to your rabbit. This can cause problems with calcium and such, but I do not believe that veggies cause it. A few ways to prevent it is make sure your rabbit has a proper hay-based diet with nice, high-quality, high-fiber hay, whether it's timothy or orchard grass or meadow or burma or oat. Make sure that they're eating lots of hay. This will keep the digestive system moving and help wear down your rabbit's teeth. Also, make sure that your rabbit gets lots and lots of exercise every day. This will keep your rabbit's gut moving better if they're moving around more, so make sure your rabbit gets tons of exercise. Also, monitor their stress level, whether it's moving them around, do not pick up your rabbit a lot. Now, there is certain things that we have to do with our rabbits, such as grooming them and cutting their nails. Even though that causes lots of stress, that is something that has to be done and can cause problems if you don't. But do not make major changes in their environment or routine without doing it slowly. If your rabbit is outdoors, things like dogs barking can cause stress to your rabbit, so you really need to take environment into consideration for stress levels. In the end, GI stasis is a very serious condition that kills hundreds of rabbits each year because their owners don't know what to do and just thinks it's a sickness that will pass when it is not a sickness, it is a condition that should be addressed immediately. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Remember to check the description for some links to some web pages about GI stasis to learn more. Yeah guys, I hope this video has helped you out and you found it useful in some way. So thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye! Some toys, stacky cups, some baby keys, that lollipop, and their water bowl. Over to the left here, I have taken out their level there because they just weren't using it and it was just kind of getting in the way. And right here I have this.